Hello and welcome back to SF a Giants Recap and the Giants. They lose 5-2 versus the Diamondbacks today due to, to some poor mental baseball and some poor bullpen management. So that's what we're going to go over. Consider subscribing. I make recap videos after every Giants game. And so let's go over how the offense went. J.D. Davis, though, he, didn't, he deserved a shout out. He got two singles. Two RBIs, he is the only reason he scored two runs, so good to see from J.D. Davis. Tyro Estrada, he scored two runs, good to see from him. And then Luis Matos, he got two hits today. So those guys are really what carried the offense today because there wasn't much offense. Uh, for the pitching side of the game, Anthony Discofani, he went six innings, allowed five hits, two runs, got three strikeouts, no walks, which is really good to see from Discofani. But I don't know why Kapler pulled him so early. He put him back pretty early, and Discofani was only at 78 pitches. And so that was just kind of an interesting decision. Um, Tristan Beck, he came in. He went two and a third, allowed three runs, and just could not locate his pitches great. He was getting a lot of uh, three ball counts. I think he walked the first batter of each inning he was in, and that kind of put him in a hole. So we could have been really competitive if he would have located his pitches and been as dominant as he was his last few appearances. Ryan Walker, he came in for two thirds of an inning. He got two strikeouts. So good to see from him. But Tristan Beck, we know he can be good. He just got to have a good day and locate his pitches. And I feel like uh, Kapler used him in a bad situation. So. Just something that can be uh, worked on there. Blake Sable, what was he doing on the bases? He had one of the most mind-boggling uh, base running mistakes I've ever seen. Ground ball to third base, Longoria, he dives, stops it from going anywhere past him, and keeps it so bases are going to be loaded. Two outs, Crawford's coming up. We know how Crawford is with people in scoring position. We have a chance to go ahead, tie the game, put another run on the board. But Blake Sable, for some reason, thinks he can go to a base that already has a runner there. I don't know what kind of baseball he's playing, but he thinks he can do that. Runs the third, runs back, and they tag him out. So just some poor baseball uh, IQ. Just terrible. You cannot have that happen. You're in the big leagues, and something as simple as that. If that happens in minors or college or high school, that's fine. It's excusable. But you're in the big leagues. You cannot have something like that happen. Longoria sat there for three seconds with the ball in his hand, and Sable never even switched, like, never even stopped and went all the way to third. I don't know what went on. Crawford could have struck out the next batter. It wouldn't have mattered. But we don't know, and that's the thing that frustrates me. We don't know what would have happened. But just frustrating game. Hopefully we can bounce back against the Blue Jays on Tuesday. I'll have a video coming out tomorrow. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for a new SF Giants recap video.